Hello everyone, have a look what I just purchased from Banggood. It's the Atuman K1 Pocket Tool. Comes in this uh, nice box here, one of these nice shiny type boxes. Um, so look what we get. Oops, hopefully, ah, there we go. Here's the tool itself in this nice uh, foam packaging here. The knife itself, you get a spare blade in here. Hopefully you can see that. And um, we get this little uh, screwdriver bit as well. If I can get it out, there we go. There's a the screwdriver bit. Let's see if we can get the tool out as well. There we go. There's the tool, guys. All right, then. So let's have a look what we get. We get the uh, the tool itself, which is made, I believe, from 440 stainless steel. As you can see, it's got the uh, company markings here, telling you all about it. It's got a uh, couple of uh, rulers on there, one in metric and one in imperial. We have a quarter, uh, quarter inch squared, uh, quarter inch drive here for your drive bit. Uh, this drive bit's interesting in that you can put it on a keyring. You can also put this on a keyring too through here. Let's have a closer look at it, shall we, guys? Okay, I think you'll find this is a fairly stylish little tool. It's quite hefty. It appears to be quite well made too. And so we've got the uh, for your hex drive here, for your standard uh, quarter inch bits. You can hang it on a keyring just here, and they say that this is also a bending tool, bending wires. Uh, we have a flat bladed screwdriver come pry bar just at the back here. There's your metric measure, your imperial measure. Uh, just here we have uh, a spanner, so you've got several different sizes of spanner going on just here. Uh, little Phillips screwdriver at the base just here. To get the blade out, you push this little button here. This little button's been designed quite cleverly, I think, in that nothing moves on the outside of the tool itself. Very clever. Let's have a closer look at the uh, screwdriver bit you get with it. A very handy dual-ended uh, bit. Phillips on one end, flat-bladed screw on, screwdriver on the other, and we have this very useful little hole in there, so you can put it on a keyring, as I say, so you can carry both bits, both items with you at all times. I really do like the design of this thing, uh, and that's what attracted me to it uh, on the Banggood site. I had to pre-order this one, I uh, had to wait for it, uh, a week or so for it to come in. I like the little uh, designs here, these are all milled in. All these parts here, all the little bits here, all been milled, and I say you press this little button here, and it allows you to get the uh, blade out, which is a standard um, Stanley utility style blade so they they're available all over the place if this one gets blunt you've got a spare one in the packaging as I say but you know if they get blunt or you have to lose them somehow or another I mean maybe you're you've forgotten and you're taking it through um, an airport or something you just discard the blade like so uh, I'm sure they would allow this part on the plane and then when you get to the other end you simply buy some more blades and away you go again we have two settings for the blade here's the short one Push the button again, pull it out a little bit more, and it will click into place. A little bit longer there. As I say, they are standard uh, utility blades, so they should be available all over the place. It pushes away quite nicely, like so, clicking into place. It doesn't rattle, because there's a magnet in here. Hopefully I can uh, show you that. There you are. There's a magnet holds the blade in place, stopping it from rattling around. Um, it's quite a nice little thing actually. It's quite comfortable to hold, so I dare say it should make a handy little tool, you know, for cutting and what have you. Easy to deploy the blade, there we go. I'm seriously considering uh, EDC in this, because it's a right nice little bit of kit. Um, I'll decide later on after I've done some tests with it. Um, I will be doing some cutting tests for this fairly shortly um, and I know what some of you guys are going to say to me that you know why bother do cutting tests because if the blade's blunt you could just replace it with an ordinary blade well yes you can but how comfortable is it this is the thing you've got to you know you'll want to know if this thing is actually comfortable to use um, I've got another one of these little fellows this little chap uh, now this has got a little glass breaker at the top there uh, you've got the Phillips screwdriver here. There's no flat bladed screwdriver or a pry bar on this, uh, but you do get a bottle opener. Actually, there's a bottle opener on this one too, guys. 
just here. You can use that as a bottle opener. And we'll be uh, passing it over to Mrs. Rathbone shortly, see how she gets on with it. But I found this thing just here, the little uh, glass breaker, uh, sticks in your hand. It's not all that comfortable to use this thing, actually, I've found. So that's why I always do a cutting test, because they're not always, see, look, you've got to deploy the blade on this one. You have to push this thing up here like that. And I found that the uh, glass cutter is sticking into your hand whilst you're doing it. Not very comfortable at all. So um, back to this little fella. Uh, we'll get Bob the Bitzer bag in and see how we get on, see if this is comfortable to hold. Just deploy the blade a bit then. There we go. Here's Bob the Bitzer bag. We've got some paper here, which we'll try first. Yep, <clears throat> not too bad. A blade could be better. We might have to swap it out for something better. But it cuts the paper okay. Chuck that over there. There's a bit of old cardboard here which is probably what this thing will be used to getting into boxes and the blade is quite fine for that right over there it goes got about four strands of cheapo rope here um, might have to deploy the blade a little bit further there we go so it goes through them all you want there we go let's have a look yep cut through that lot quite nicely then moving on to something tougher we have the uh, speaker style cable here Try the blade and see how comfortable the uh, tool is to use. Very comfortable. It's very comfortable to hold indeed while you're cutting through something tough. Let's try some uh, 32020 in the blue uh, uh, sheath here. Try again. Let's have a look. Yes, it's still comfortable to hold. Uh, you can put a fair amount of pressure on this little fellow and it doesn't hurt your hand at all, so that's all good then. Um, Many thanks to Trader Joe for sending uh, Mule the tape worm in, or tape, uh, mule tape, so for pulling uh, cables, heavy duty cables through conduits and uh, you know, what have you. Uh, that's what it's designed for, it's quite strong stuff. Uh, as I say before, if you get a really not very sharp blade at all, it won't cut this stuff, it just slides off of it. And I don't think we should have any problem with a utility style blade, but yes it is. It is uh, struggling a little bit. Oh, I'm having to use uh, quite a bit of pressure here. There we go, eventually got through it. Tie wraps. What about tie wraps? This is a fairly heavy duty one, or at least an off cut of said. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, cut that nicely, and it's quite comfortable to use as I say. So that's why I do these cutting tests for these little things. Yeah, the blade might not be any good, but is the handle comfortable to use? And yes, it is. Okay. Corner, oh, corner of the uh, chopping board time. Let's try this uh, cheapo rope first, see what we can do with that. Should be okay. Yep, explodes it quite nicely. No trouble at all. Again, the uh, little thing is still quite comfortable to get hold of. Let's try a little bit of um, mule tape here. Oh, it's done a good try to get through it. Try again. Yep. It's because I'm holding it in a, a funny way to show you guys, but it is, it is cutting it quite nicely. Um, the speaker style cable. Yeah, I can feel it just pushing just there. You can see the little white marks on my hand there. Let's just try the heavier gauge stuff. Yeah, there's definitely a bit of a, a hot spot going on just there, guys. You can actually see the uh, shape of the uh, handle on my hand there hopefully just in there so there's a little problem with it just there but um, let's find some pipe because we like pinging pipe about yeah it's cut through that quite nicely as a utility blade should do because they're thin and they're often there's not really really sharp just in case anyone is unsure or who wants to know these blades are freely interchangeable here's the one from the Atu Man this one is marked Woodpecker Here's one for my uh, Big Idea Designs titanium pocket tool. Get the blade out of there. And it goes into the Atu Man. Fits in there a treat. Held in with a magnet. Um, here's one from this, uh, probably not quite so nice <coughs> tool here. Again, standard 
Stanley style utility blade. In it goes. They're all interchangeable, guys. So what else can the K1 do? Um, as I say, um, the instructions or the little information they've got on Banggood suggest you could use this not only to put it on the key ring, but you can also bend, maybe copper wire with it. And so we have a quarter inch drive here, so you can use the tool that comes with it. Just simply slots in like so. And then we have like a T-handle screwdriver then. Um, we also have a flat bladed screwdriver on this end, a Phillips on this end, and we have a spanner going on here. So the way we're going to test those is we're going to nip down to the workshop. As I say, you can carry both of these on a key ring if you wish to. A little key ring will go through that hole there. Really useful. Um, but are they going to be any good um, on a key ring? Let's find out, shall we? Um, I think we'll start with uh, my little screwdriver tester here. We've got um, a little Phillips screw here little flat uh, slotted screw just there. Um, we have got some larger ones as well, so we'll have to try those I think. So we'll start with the, uh, this little tool here then. So we'll give the uh, the bit that comes with it a go first. It's not held in in any way, it's uh, just a loose fit into the uh, little hole here. Um, let's give it a go with the um, Phillips first. Have we got it? Is it going? Yeah, I think we've got it going. It's just a bit awkward to keep the uh, screwdriver going in the uh, handle there, but I think we've got it going. Yeah, we've definitely got it going round here, guys. Let's have a look. Yep. Okay, so we're backing right out. You can see that's loose. I'm just driving back in again. Right, that's almost there. Okay, get the Atu men back on there again. And tighten him down a bit. There we go, it's tightened him in. And what is the K1 like doing uh, bolts up like this one here? Let's get it on and find out. There we go. And you see, if you did it the wrong way, this is starting to uh, come off the uh, bolt head here. So I think we'll have to turn him over and get another uh, bite at it. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's a much better fit. It's not going to open up now. So you have to use this the right way around. So it's fairly tight on there. Turn him over. Pop him back on again. And there we go. So what's it like working with metric nuts? Let's have a look. Just uh, there are, it is loose. Get the uh, Atu man on there. I'm not sure whether this is, whether this uh, is metric or imperial size because it's a bit of a funny fit on this uh, metric nut here. But we'll give it a go. Yep, there we go. We've managed to do it. Obviously, this is obviously you know a compromised tool, but um, it will. There we go. Do it at a pinch anyway. What about the? Uh, tools that come with it. What are they like? Let's try the little Phillips driver. We've got this little uh, posi drive screw here, but it'll do the job, I think. Make a little hole for it right here. There we go. Pop it in. See what we can do with it. Right, and so far so good then. I think maybe this uh, screw head might be a bit, bit on the large size for the drive a bit and I'm having to use a bit of pressure to drive it in but hopefully you can see it is actually going in there guys there we go okay not damage the tip too much either by the looks of it I can't see much damage on there. there's a few because this is like um you know a blasted finish and it's beginning to show some little signs of shiny up there as it's uh, rubbing against the uh, screw head okay right then let's give this large Slotted head screw ago. Quite a large screw this one. So make a bit of a hole for it. There we go. Oh, if I can get it out, there we are. Pop it in. Because say we've got a sort of like a flat bladed screwdriver stroke pry bar on the end there. Okay. You might be to hear my old wrist cracking away here. 
here it goes. It's doing a quite an easy job of it. Um, it's beginning to get a little bit awkward because I'm pressing against this uh, Phillips driver here and it's getting a little bit uncomfortable, but you can do it. You can work it, guys. It's working really well, actually. Okay then, so it's a quite a useful little tool then. I quite like it. As I say, I think I might have to be uh, EDC in this little fellow. Uh, quite comfortable to... Hello, someone has sent us a message. Don't forget your socket adapters. Oh, these things here you mean? Well, let's pop in this uh, quarter inch square drive adapter. Fits like a glove as you can see. And we've got a 10 mil socket just here guys. Pop that on the end. Loosen that here. Give it a go. As you can see, we can use the Atuman K1 for tightening nuts quite nicely. There we go, that's quite a, a bit of torque applied to that one. It's nice and tight. Get him undone. Tighten the vice up a bit. There we go, done. Okay then, what a versatile little tool it is. Um, I also believe uh, they got this bit down, a slight angle here, they got this down as a scraper of some description or, or another. Um, let's say we've got the Imperial metric rulers on here. And on the end here, this little hook bit here, is what they call the a bottle opener. So what we'll do is we'll uh, hand it over to Mrs Rathbone in the kitchen and see how she gets on with it. This one is the Atomen. K1 um, multi tool. See how this um, hook, got little hooks on it. Put it on there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That was really, really easy. Mm -hmm. Good one then. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, really easy. And if I can do it, anyone can do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay then, quite a versatile little pocket tool then. And Mrs Rathbone had no bothers opening the bottle there, as we saw. Um, let's say we've got screwdrivers, you can use the uh, screwdriver that comes with it as well, as like a T-bar. Um, I believe you can bend copper wire with this part here. As I say, I purchased this with my own money um, from Banggood. I'll put you an affiliate link down in the descriptive text below. Click on that link and then you can go along and check price and availability where you live. I think I paid around about um, £7 for it, something like that anyway. I can't remember now. But I think it's around about £5.20 something at the moment. And so you've got the versatility of uh, you know, any Stanley style utility blade will fit into it. It comes with these nice black woodpecker ones but I mean it wouldn't matter once they get blunt just chuck it away there's no having to worry about sharpening blades up so you just take it out chuck it away buy it get some more blades and put in there. Very versatile you can carry it on your keyring and the tool as well on your keyring. Um, it's 440 stainless steel it's machined very nicely fit and finish very nice as you can see. Um, for the price from Banggood, I would say, yeah, I would definitely recommend this if you're looking for something like this to carry around. Uh, I think this is going to become part of my EDC kit. I did take it with me to the coffee shop on Saturday. Uh, those of you who follow me on Instagram will no doubt have seen it on there, along with all the other uh, photos I've been putting up. It's been this little thing has been quite popular on Instagram. Okay, then, guys. So I think this is a uh, quite a nice little piece of kit. Um, inexpensive, well made, very well made actually. I do like the quality of this little fellow. Fit and finish is very good on it. And you'll say the other thing I like about it is, is all the mechanism for the uh, releasing the blade is all internal. There's nothing sticking out around the back at all, so it makes it very easy to use. Look, a nice little bit of spring going on there too. Very easy to uh, get to the blade out of it. And back in again, just push the little button, snaps into place for use. Yeah, what a wonderful little bit of kit. I really like this. All right then, guys. Well, I hope you've enjoyed um, the review. 
and thanks for popping over again thank you very much for watching and um well basically i'll catch you back here at rathbone manor in the near future then bye okay then i think you'll find well you'll probably uh, find yourselves that there we go done Oh, we'll chuck it on the floor. Okay, okay then.